2020 has been a very challenging and volatile period. Supply chains have been severely disrupted from an oil side, from a consumption point of view, but also mobility of people and goods. And that's required people to call upon our expertise and our ability to respond to these changing market dynamics and provide a continuity of service. Traffic were adapted very well during this pandemic. We had our busiest period in April, our busiest month ever. We were able to, regardless of the market environment, perform at all times. Our people rose to the challenge working from home in difficult environments. They did that with a high degree of integrity, professionalism, and dynamism to service the customer base. This period really cemented some long-term relationships. The volatile market, the conditions we were living, required us to provide solutions to customers and we were able to do that. The communities within which we operate were affected obviously by the pandemic and we assisted them as well during times of need. 2020 saw a record performance from our two main trading divisions, oil and minerals and metals. We had a record gross profit, record EBITDA, and we're also able to increase gross margins to 5%. It was a stunning year. Industrial assets were adversely affected by the pandemic. With respect to the oil storage and distribution business Puma, we had lower volumes, lower margins, it was a difficult period. We have taken some impairments, particularly in South America. Nearstar posted a loss, but we are turning that business around. The positive side is we have got a strong foundation as we move into 2021. We are committed to an industry leading position in transparently reporting. As part of this, we have stepped up our engagement with other stakeholders, including the UN agency, the IMO, and also the Global Battery Alliance. And we're making good progress with respect to transparency, in particular regarding responsible sourcing. And this is a requirement from our banks and financiers and our customers. We are seeing a very strong rebound in, in economic conditions, particularly from Asia. And as an organization, we're very well placed to respond to these market changes. The energy transition is gaining momentum. Interest in electrification, it's taking across both in emerging markets, but also in developed world. You know, we're well placed through our copper, nickel, aluminium, cobalt trade activities, which can help support those changes in demand. Oil will still be a very important part of the energy mix. While we have seen a reduction in demand you know, during 2020, we expect to see that to recover. That being said, we are going through an energy transition. We are trying to decarbonise and therefore our position in renewable energy, such as hydrogen, is very important for the growth of the organisation. One of the exciting developments this year has been the establishment of a power and renewables training division. As we see the energy transition taking place, there's a lot of focus on, on what this division can do to service our existing and new customer base. Over time, I expect this division to fit well alongside our existing minerals and metals and oil trading activities. As an operator of industrial assets, and a significant charter of vessels, we have a responsibility to reduce our carbon footprint. In our responsibility report, which will be released shortly, we have set clear targets to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions over a three year period. And we are setting a path over the next three years to address our scope three emissions. During 2020, we really stepped up a gear. We have proven ourselves, regardless of market conditions, to be a reliable business partner. We've established a very strong foundation for 2021. We've got a significantly stronger balance sheet. We've got a more diversified commercial trading portfolio. And I think we've got a trading environment which looks very positive for the future. I personally would like to thank my colleagues for all their efforts during 2020. They've really come through with flying colors and really the success of the company during 2020 is largely due to them.